The Badger Madness is about to begin. The UW men's basketball team takes on the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame on Good Friday. Sports director Jay Wilson joins us from Philadelphia. Hi, Jay. It looks like a beautiful day there. It is a beautiful day. Mid-70s in the temperatures and uh, very windy, but uh, we didn't really think about late Sunday night we'd be here, but they turned things around in St. Louis and... As you can hear, some of the fans driving by, they're pretty excited about it. We're looking forward to quite a matchup here against Notre Dame tomorrow night. The team practiced today. How do they look? Well, you know, it's always interesting to see how a team acclimates itself to a new arena. This is the place where the Philadelphia 76ers play. And yes, the jokes are that the Badgers could probably beat the Sixers <laughs> as bad as they are. But um, it's, a, you know, it's, it's an NBA arena. That's always exciting. But... You know, they've been through this routine so many times before, uh, 18 straight NCAA tournament appearances, twice to the Final Four in the last two years. So you can see a, a composure, a business-like approach to things that has served them well, and, and uh, we'll see how well it serves them again this week. And now it's down to the Sweet 16. Did you pack your bracket board? Well, we went to the Rite Aid Pharmacy just down <laughs> the street from the Badgers Hotel, and look at, look at this funky board we got. I mean, somebody's doing some pretty cool class projects out here. So uh, thanks to Al Barczewski for printing out the logos and the seeds. And so this is what the East Regional in Philadelphia looks like. The first game tomorrow night will be Notre Dame, sixth seed against Wisconsin, the seventh seed. 627 Central on TBS. It's scheduled to start. And that will start on time since this is the first game of the session. So about 30 minutes after the Badgers and Notre Dame are done, it'll be North Carolina, the number one seed in the East against the number five seed. Indiana. I bet you're wondering who I think is going to win, huh? Yes, we are wondering, Jay. Okay. Well, Notre Dame's going to be tough. Um, they're one of those teams that not a lot of people probably pick deep into their brackets, but they've got an inside presence in Zach August. They've got an outside presence in Demetrius Jackson and a guy, a guy who shoots threes great named V.J. Beecham. And so they're going to be tough to defend. Their offense has been spectacular. And that's going to be the, the interesting thing, though, the important thing for the Badgers, that they can defend Notre Dame and make them do some things they don't want to do offensively. They've got a pretty good chance to win. Uh, if Notre Dame gets their offense going, there are very few teams in the country who can probably stop them. So with all that being said, guess what? I think Wisconsin is a team that probably not a pe lot of people can explain why they're so good and why they've been doing so well. But Mike Bray, the Notre Dame coach, had an interesting comment in his news conference. He said Wisconsin's a team who thinks they can win. Now, that sounds pretty familiar to last year, make them believe, and, you know, that, that whole mentality. I think there's a lot to this mentality thing, and the Badgers are in a great place as far as that goes, and it's gotten them to the East Regional. Okay, so the Badgers, I say they move on. North Carolina and Indiana. North Carolina has as much talent as any team in the country. I think it's going to be hard for the Hoosiers to figure out a way to beat such a talented team as North Carolina. And so the East Region Final is going to be Sunday. We don't know what time it's going to be played, but we know it's going to be Sunday. And as much as I think positive energy can help you, I'm sorry. North Carolina is one heck of a team, and I'd be really surprised if they don't go to Houston and the Final Four. So I'm picking North Carolina, but... You just never know. I mean, I had Michigan State winning the whole thing two weeks ago, so what do I know? <laughs> so we'll see what develops here in Philadelphia. There have been a lot of upsets, yeah. that's for sure, in this tournament. Jay Wilson reporting for us live from Philadelphia. We'll see you back here at five. Thanks, Jay.